But one time I, I was digging out at San Lazaro, and I started finding an, an objects that I really didn't know what they were. I had uncovered the top of them. That they were white with paint on them. So I called a state archaeologist, and he came running out there, and we excavated two prehistoric Kachina dance masks made out of plaster. The Indians knew how to make plaster out of selenite, and they'd never been seen before. The books say that prehistoric Kachina mass that that Kachina mass did not exist in prehistoric times, and we dated we carbon fourteen dated these things at fourteen twenty. So uh, I called this archaeologist and some. Three or four archaeologists came running out there. One of them was Ed Ladd, who worked for the museum up here. He was a full-blood Zuni Indian, really a neat guy, had a master's degree in archaeology, but he was a Zuni Indian. And so he said, uh, you guys wait at the car, in the car for a minute because I want to go over there, climb down the ladder, and bless the masks with a ceremony. And the ceremony was to take cornmeal out of a bag and spread it over, over the mast and, and say a few words. And we said, okay. So Ed went over there and he climbed down in there and he was gone about five minutes and he came back. And, and uh, so the rest of us went over there to finish excavating these masts, very important, that had never been seen before. Historians say they didn't exist, but here they are. And a lot of paraphernalia with these masts fetishes and painted rocks and wonderful tools and things, all related to uh, some kind of ceremony. The masks were painted. They had long snoots, teeth. And uh, these guys are standing behind me, all of them PhDs. And they were talking about how wonderful this was and what are we going to do and how are we gonna, what are we going to do next. And, and I looked up there on the top of the wall was a pile of cornmeal. I looked at Ed Ladd and he said, I put the Carmel up on top. He said, I'm an archaeologist, but he said, I'm also a Zuni Indian. I didn't want to put the Carmel on the masks because I could contaminate the masks. I said, okay. And he turned around and was talking to these guys behind me. And here comes a little dust storm. It picked the corn up and dropped it on the masks. And, and a couple of ravens flew by yelling at me, and I didn't have the nerve to tell Ed Ladd that, that, that God had changed his procedure and dropped, dropped the cornmeal on those masks. But those are the kind of things that, you know, that make, make life interesting in, in my lane. <laughs> I wish my lane was a little bit better, but... 